Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to create a simple 60 second countdown timer in MIT App Inventor. So we are going to use the clock component in MIT App Inventor to create this countdown timer app. So it will count down from 60 seconds and after it reaches 0 seconds and then the timer is over, then it will also show an alert message and it will also make a sound. Now if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventor so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile apps. So to create this app, first we are going to bring in two labels and we are going to put this label to be at the center of screen 1. So let's click on screen 1 and let's change align horizontal and align vertical to be center. Next we are going to change the text of label 1 to be time remaining. Now let's make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 35. Now in label 2, we are going to put the text of this to be 60. And let's increase the font size of this to be 25. So th this is the time remaining and this is the countdown where the countdown number will be shown. Next we are going to bring in a button and let's change the text of this button to be start. Now we are going to increase the font size to be 20. And let's make the font to be bold. Now let's change the background color of this button to be orange. Next for the countdown timer to decrease, we are going to bring in a clock component. So let's go to sensors and here you can see clock. So let's bring it in and make sure that the timer interval is 1000 milliseconds which is 1 second and then timer enabled should be unchecked. Next after the countdown is over and this number changes into 0, then we are going to show that the time is up using a notifier in MIT App Inventor. So let's bring in notifier component. Next we are going to play a sound after the timer is over and after this changes into 0, we are going to play an alarm sound. So let's go to media and here you can see sound component. Now for the source you need to upload the sound file. Now you can see that the sound file is uploaded sound.wav and I have also given the link to download this sound in the description below. So you can download this sound and use it in your project. Now let's go to the block section. So when button 1 which is the start button, this button is clicked, we need to start the countdown timer. So we are going to enable the clock 1 component. So here you can see set clock 1.timer enabled to we are going to change this to be true so that the timer is enabled and the countdown starts. Now after the clock one timer is started, we are going to reduce this number for every one second because we have put the interval to be 1000 milliseconds which is one second. So for every one second, we are going to reduce this number. So it will become 59, 58 and it goes on like that. So let's to decrease the number, first we are going to bring in here in clock you can see when clock 1 dot timer here we are going to decrease the number so set label 2 dot text 2 let's bring in this block we are going to decrease it by 1 so we will get label 2 dot text and then let's go to math blocks and here we are going to bring in the subtraction operator so label 2 dot text minus 1 so let's bring in the math block and let's change this to be 1 so that it is getting reduced by 1 after it goes to 0 we need to show the alert and we also need to play the sound file so let's bring in an if condition so here you can see the if condition if label 2 dot text let's bring in equal to block if it is equal to 0 then we are going to show an alert message but first we are going to stop the timer so we are going to disable the clock one dot timer so set clock one dot timer enabled to false next we are going to play the sound file so let's go to the sound component and here you can see call sound one dot play so it will start playing the file which we have uploaded here sound dot wav next we also need to show a message in the notifier so we are going to bring in this block show message dialog 
and then let's we are going to put the message to be time up so let me put the message time up and then and the title is going to be I'm going to put the same title if you want you can change it and now the button text is going to be okay so here you can see the app and it shows time remaining as 60 seconds because we still didn't start the timer so let me click on start and you can see that the countdown timer is getting reduced by one for every second so now I'm going to speed this process up so that it it won't be boring for you now you can see that only five seconds are remaining now two so you can see that it makes a sound and it also shows an alert message like time up next do you want to create a speaking clock app in mit app inventor watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor